Hey, it's Alex here. Hope you're all well. So in this video, I want to talk to you about staging websites and how you can quickly set up a staging website. But what on earth is a staging website, I hear you ask? Well, a few of you asking, those of you that don't know what a staging website is. Let me explain. A staging website is when you take a copy of a live website and you put it somewhere else, somewhere private, so that you can work on it, you can make changes, you can test stuff, do whatever you need to do without messing up the live site, without interrupting the live site. They are particularly handy if you want to try out a new plugin or you want to make some changes, try a new theme, whatever you need to do. They're perfect if you've got client websites because it means you can do some changes, you can show the client once they're happy, you can then push those changes onto the live site. The plugin and service that I'm going to be using in this video is BlogVault, which if you're a regular on the channel, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's a service that I use all the time I use it to look after a number of my websites, including estepona.life. It's great not only for staging, but it also does backups, it does security, it helps you update your plugins without breaking your site. Loads of cool stuff. There's plenty of videos about it on the channel. Do go check them out. You can sign up for free. I'll put a link up now to go check it out. And that is an affiliate link. Thanks very much. If you use it, of course, I really appreciate it. If you do, it really helps me out. You've got a selection of different plans depending on your requirement. But anyway, let's jump on the computer. Let me show you how to create a staging site. First thing I'll show you is how you can connect your website to BlogVault. It's really easy. You just basically install a plugin and then we'll get the staging site up and running. Let's go. Once you're signed up for BlogVault, you'll be prompted to add your site. Now, of course, staging is just one part of BlogVault. It does so many other things. I've got uh, quite a few videos on my channel about this um, software, about this service. So uh, do go check them out. I'll put links to those in the description. But you just enter your domain, whatever that may be. I'll just put a, a test one for now, whatever that may be, .com. <laughs> uh, click Continue. Next up, you select the plan that you want. I've got the Pro plan, so I'll click Proceed. Can of course go for free if you like. And then the final step is just to install the plugin. And you can do this by adding a admin username and password in this box, or you can do a manual installation where you can just download the plugin, install it in the usual way through the plugin section. So I'm already connected up on estepona.life, which is of course my um, project website. So let's jump into that. Can simply go there by going to sites. And here is estepona.life at the bottom. And if I click on these little uh, squares over here, get the full dashboard. Then in here, we've got staging. So if I click add staging. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna use my latest backup, which is um, fine, of course, because it's taken a backup just a few hours ago. If I wanna go back even further, I can choose any of these backups. Of course, BlogVault is great for keeping backups of your website. Choose a PHP version here, 8.2 is fine. And um, well, and well, let's click continue. So it's doing its thing. Now you notice uh, on that previous screen, there was a include real time events tick box. That is very useful if you're running say an e-commerce site. So, um, you know, you create a staging site, you do some stuff, and then you want to merge the staging site back onto the live site. But obviously you don't want to lose any orders or whatever that have happened since you took um, a copy and set up the staging site. If you tick that box, then that makes sure that that doesn't happen and um, you don't miss out on any orders or anything that's happened. So yeah, particularly useful for e-commerce websites. Do check out um, the blog vault documentation for more info on including real-time events. Okay, that's done. And it's given me a username and a password. And just give that a click to copy it. And, and then we can click here to visit the staging. So this is um, where you have to enter that username and password. So I'm just gonna paste that in and then enter in the username. So it's nice and secure. People can't see the staging. So if you're messing around and changing things and you wanna keep it private, it's all done for you. And here's the site. It is, of course, an exact copy of my live website. So now I can play around with this, do exactly what I like. If I want to log in, we just go to WP Admin, of course. So just enter that on the end of the URL. And we're going to log in with the um, 
the username and password that I use on the live site, obviously all that data has come across. And there we go, we're logging in and the dashboard should come up right now. So that's all good, it's all working perfect. So now we've done some work on our staging site, we've made some changes, we now wanna push it back onto the live site. Super easy, we just go back into our blog vault dashboard. Here we go, let's go back to the site details page. So here we go, now in the staging section we can see the staging site, we've got 27 days left to play around with it. And we've got the site credentials there if we need them, more details, but if we wanna put it back, we just click on merge. And it's gonna um, sync it all back as it was. I'm actually gonna cancel this because I don't wanna do this right now, I didn't make any changes, but yeah, you get the idea. And that's it. Final thing is this details page just gives you the expiry date and all that kind of stuff. So you get a staging site for um, yeah, the full 27 days. And, um, and that's it. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know how you got on creating your staging website or leave a comment about anything you like. I do love to hear from you. And I'll try to reply to as many comments as I possibly can. But anyway, until next time, good luck with your projects. See you later.